Peace, it's Miss Faith. Our Bible story for this week is the story of creation. So if you miss me reading that story on Facebook, you can um, go onto our Facebook page and watch it. It's still posted there for all of you guys to watch. So the story of creation is about how God made everything. So if you go outside in your front yard, everything you see was made by God. So the grass, the ground, the stars, the sun, all the animals, and of course, all of us were made by God, which is pretty amazing. So today, our craft is going to be one of the things that God made. This is something that you can find in your yard if you look hard enough. It's this caterpillar. And I really like this craft. This craft is especially cool because this caterpillar moves. And even though he looks really cool and he moves, this is actually very, very simple to make and it doesn't take that long either. So I'm going to show you how to make this caterpillar. My caterpillar is particularly it's particularly big, but you can make whatever size caterpillar you want. Um, the reason why he's so big is because the only colored paper I have um, is this big paper. Um, but if you have a smaller piece of paper, you can use whatever size paper you want. This craft works with any size piece of paper. So you could have big caterpillars or little small caterpillars. It's up to you. So I'm going to use this green paper to make the body of my caterpillar, but you can make whatever color caterpillar you want. So to start off, I'm just going to make two folds in the paper. Now one of the folds is going to be a little less than halfway down the paper. Now it does not have to be precise at all. Um, it doesn't, you know, really matter exactly where the fold is, just about, so if this is the halfway mark, I'm just going to go up a little bit, and that's where I'm going to fold. Just like that. And then the next fold I'm going to make is on the other end of the paper, and I'm just gonna fold that a little tiny bit. So I'm just gonna fold it like maybe that much. So now your paper should look like this. And now you can start cutting. So I'm gonna take my scissors. Now the bigger fold that I made is going to go away from me because I'm not going to cut into this fold. So I'm actually gonna put my paper flat so that I don't cut this part at all. So I'm just gonna put that flat. This side with the, um, with the smaller fold, that side is the side that I'm going to cut. So I'm just gonna start right here and cut strips all the way down to that line. So as you can see, I have my small side and I'm just gonna cut strips all the way down. And the size of these strips isn't really too important. You know, you can try to make them about the same size, but it certainly doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna try to put that down so you guys can see. And I'm just gonna cut all the way up to that crease mark. Now, this caterpillar that I am making, I think he looks like the caterpillar in the book called Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. So you guys will have to let me know if you've read that and if you think my caterpillar looks like that one.
Now, the bigger the piece of paper you have, the more you're gonna have to cut. So because I have this big piece of paper, it's taken me a little longer to cut, but that's all right. Now, as I start getting towards, whoops, my caterpillar fell off the table. That's all right, I'll get him. So as I start getting to the end, I'm going to leave a little bit of it uncut. So I'm gonna have one big strip on this end. Again, it doesn't have to be too precise how big your strip is. You just need something that's a good size so that we can um, glue the head on. So now my paper looks like this. I have this side folded, and then I have all these strips, and because we folded um, this side, all these strips have a little tab on them. So, what the next step is, to take all these little tabs, put glue on them, and bring them over, and glue them down like that. Just glue them right to the edge. So I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna just put a bunch of glue along this edge here. And I'm gonna start at this end and I'm going to bring the paper over and glue it right there in the corner. Now I'm not gonna bend the paper at all. We want it to just kind of loop over. And then I'm gonna take the other ones and I'm going to take this little tab and put it right next to the one before it. And then I'm just gonna keep going down the line and I'm gonna press the tab down a bit, put my finger in and press the tab down so that I can make sure that it's glued there. Nice and good. And I'm just gonna go all the way down. Now, this is the part that takes the longest, but once you're done with this, you're almost done with your caterpillar. Because when you're done gluing down all your tabs, you're gonna have made the whole body. One's a little crooked. <laughs> That's better. Right now, you can't see her because she's not on camera, but right now my doggie is in the kitchen and she's looking at me, telling me that she wants to go outside. <laughs> oh, you might be able to hear in the background a bit. Do you guys have doggies at home? I have two dogs. One's pretty big, and the other one is very, very small. She's only about that big. And she's outside right now, and the bigger dog wants to go out with her. But unfortunately, she's gonna have to wait until I'm done with my caterpillar. Okay, and I'm going to put glue all the way to the end here because I'm gonna glue this big tab, I mean this big strip too.
right, and now this is my last big tab. And then I'm going to be all done with the body. There we go. And now if you bend your caterpillar, he's going to move. Now if you've used a glue stick for this, I used a glue stick so mine's pretty much dry right now, but if you used wet glue, you're going to want to um, wait until it dries, until you start seeing how your caterpillar moves. Because if it's not mostly dry, when you start moving it, a lot of these might come out of place. So. Looking good. So this is the side where I'm going to put my head. So I'm going to use my red paper for this, which fell off the table before, because I'm going to make a red head for my caterpillar. So to make the head, I'm going to cut out two circles that are the same size. And as usual, when we want to cut out a circle, we can use something that is circular to trace to make our circle a perfect circle. So today I've used cups, mugs, plates, all kinds of things um, to make my circles. And today I'm just going to use this little pencil holder. So, I'm going to put it right down on, um, on my sheet, and then I'm going to take a marker and just trace around. And I'm going to do that twice to make two circles. And then I'm going to cut both of them out. And there's two. So on one of these circles, I'm going to draw the face for my caterpillar. So I think I'm going to take this green marker and I'm going to make some eyes for him. And I'm going to give him a big smile too. Because I want my caterpillar to be happy. Then I'm going to cut out his antennas. So I'm going to take some more green paper and I'm just going to cut two rectangles. I'm going to cut a little strip of paper cut it in half and make sure that they're about the same size and that's going to be my caterpillar's antennas. So I'm going to take the red circle that I made his face on and I'm going to put it face down and I'm going to glue the antennas on the back of it. Now, if you want to kind of pick it up and look at where his face is, you can do that. So you can make sure that the antennas are exactly where you want them. Just 
just like that. And now all I have to do is glue these two circles onto the body. So I'm gonna take my caterpillar and I'm going to go to the side where I have the big strip and I'm going to glue one circle here and then one circle here on the other side. Whoops. These caterpillars, they're pretty tricky. They like to move around a lot. So this is my face. I'm going to cover the back with glue. And then I'm going to stick them right there. And now I'm going to flip this around and glue this on the other side for the back of his head. And now your caterpillar is all done. I'm just gonna wait for the glue on my head to dry a little bit and then he'll be completely finished. Now, you'll notice this caterpillar's head is a little bit smaller than the head on my first caterpillar. And I did this because it doesn't really matter um, what size head you make. I use this to trace for my head for this one, and I use something bigger for this one. Now, if you use something smaller to make your head, then it's a little bit easier to glue, to glue the head on. If you use something bigger, which is perfectly fine, you can make your head any size you want, when I made this bigger head, I found that because it was so big, I glued it to the larger strip, and then I had to bring it up, and then I actually, as you can see, I glued the top of the circle together. So you can make your head either way, depending on what you have at home and what size the circles are that you cut out. So now I have two caterpillars and I really like these guys. I think they're really fun. Um, if you guys make any, be sure to send me a picture. Um, I miss you guys a lot. Um, I really enjoy when you guys comment on Facebook, when I'm reading. I love saying hello to you guys. Um, oh, come on, Shiloh. I'm gonna see if my doggy wants to come say hi to you guys because you might have been hearing her in the background. Miss, come here. Here she is. Oh, can you see her? Say hi. See, as you can see, she's pretty big. And she is one of the animals that God made. So, um, again, I miss you guys. I hope you liked making that caterpillar with me, and I will see you next week.